Welcome to the Piazza weekend warm up. Uh, this weekend it's match day five. We're playing against Westview FC. It's one of the new teams in the league. They recently joined. Um, so we don't really have much to go with against them. They played their first game last week against uh, the other new team, which is Unisa FC, and they lost 6 0. Uh, it might give us an idea of what to expect, but all it tells us is that UNISA played much better than Westview on the day. There could be a lot of factors that uh, that affect it. It could be that Westview is a very good team, but UNISA is a much better team, or Westview is a better team, but on the day they just didn't show up. So in, in, in all fairness, we don't really know much about Westview, but uh, we know ourselves, we know how we have been preparing and looking forward to the game. So tomorrow is going to be one of those games where you play against uh, a dark horse, uh, unknown uh, opponent. And uh, we're playing tomorrow at 2 p.m. So it should be an exciting game. But, um, earlier on, we did catch up with the coach just to get his views about the, the past game weekend against uh, Kalanga. Uh, also to talk about uh, this upcoming game against Westview. This is what uh, the coach had to say. Last weekend we played against Kalanga. We managed to come out 3-2 uh, victorious. It was not an easy game for both teams. I mean, the way we scored our, our goals, we started scoring, we thought like we had the game. Then after that, Kalanga came back. Uh, it equalized 1-1. One, one. Then after that, they took a lead and we had to look for an equalizer. Thank God we got an, our equalizer. Then from there, we had to look for a winner, which took us very long and in Kalanga played well. We have played a, 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 uh, against Nkalanga for some time now and they know our weaknesses, they know what to do and I could see that they utilized on those, uh, on those weaknesses of ours and they managed to come back and they were they were looking that, I mean the game was 50-50, no team could say that they had it that easy. Even when we scored our goal around 80 something minutes, it was a relief for everyone because at some point I, I, I made peace to say okay, I think to, today we are going home with a point because Nkalanga on us, they had like three or four one-on-ones with the keeper. Lucky, lucky enough, uh, our keeper was, was, was on top of his uh, game last week, uh, last week's fly, uh, Saturday. That helped us a lot. And again, our d defense. I mean, they, 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 were, they were working hard each and every moment. Because in Kalanga were coming at us and throwing those wrong balls. We knew that this is, this, this is their game, but we could not just manage to, you know, stop those wrong balls from uh, uh, approaching our boxes. So. We had a lot of problems. They are, uh, they are striker number 10, a very clever striker. He had good moments. He knew, he, he knew when to make runs and all that. So that helped, that, that helped them a lot to be in the game. But to be honest with you, after scoring our first goal, I thought, I thought we had them. But we allowed them to be in the game when they equalized and, uh, and, 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 and a moment later they took a lead. So it was not an easy game for us. But we thank God that we came out with three points. And this Saturday, now we have to uh, again play another team again. Uh, we are playing uh, Westview, a team which I've never played before. I've never seen them play. Is is actually they are newcomers in the league. So you know newcomers, you don't know what to expect. You know, but I believe in our, uh, with, with our uh, identity as a team. I believe that uh, come uh, come tomorrow we should be able to collect three points. Although I, I don't want to expect, I just believe with what I have, hoping that. We'll get three points tomorrow against uh, uh, Westview. Let's just talk a little bit about the game against Kalanga. Uh, you mentioned already that the goalkeeper on your side, he actually pulled in quite a few good saves during the game. How, what, what was your take on his performance, his positioning as well, um, even off, on and off the ball? Tabela last weekend, look, he, he had his best game of, uh, his best game so far in, 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 at Biazo. He, he was even our man of the match to, to make it, uh, I mean, to make it nice for him. But it was not all about that. Oh, but the ball was the man of the match. But in terms of his movements, in terms of uh, coordinating with the back line, in terms of even, I mean, keeping everyone awake at the back. I like that spirit that he was vocal and. In, uh, he, he came for the uh, long balls that Kalanga was throwing at us. A lot of them, a lot of them. I, I remember at some point, uh, Kalanga uh, hit a one long pass where Power and, 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 and Boiki were already beaten. So I thought like the Kalanga striker will, will get that ball. But from nowhere, I saw Tapero coming to clear the ball. He, he had those moments like three or four of them. And you know, you don't have to save five, ten of them for you to say you're on top of the game. You just have to save that one 
that could have made a difference in the game. So he was, he was, he, he, he did well, he did well, and that to me that's a lot of boost for someone that he had like you know, roller coaster season last season where it was his first season. He had a, one game that he didn't do well, the other game he does well. So I believe, I believe that if he can take this confidence uh, against Westview tomorrow, I mean we stand a chance of winning the game. Um, the goal that Lungelo scored. Mm. What was your take on how he actually uh, handled himself in front of Cole, um, especially when he came out one on one against the keeper? His focus was his eyes on, on on the goalkeeper. Where should I put the ball? That's what I need from the from my attacker. That look where the post is, and the keeper was coming. You see, the keeper was coming, but I thought, ah, oh, wow, maybe the keeper might get this one. But the, how fast he was in those moments, it was amazing, man, to see a young boy doing that and having that confidence in front of the goal. The league has decided to extend the the the, the, the first round of this, this season, or let me say the games that we're supposed to play before the break for the year, up until the 10th of, of December. Yeah. That means you've got four more games, one this weekend, two next week, and then one on the 10th. Yeah. How does that affect your planning, your preparation uh, with the team? That, I mean, look, they, 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 the rumor was there that we might go there up to the 10th, but everyone was like, no, it can't happen, it can't happen, you know. And now, when the league announced that, look, we have to take the games up to the 10th of December, some of our players, you are Langa, you are Pilo, you are Zwandiles, I mean, they have already left it for Deben. And something that I couldn't stop it, because they have, they, in their mind they knew that we are finishing our league on the 19th of, of November, then from there we will meet again next year. So the league decided that, hey, let's continue playing the games, I couldn't do otherwise. Yes, you might miss some one or two, uh, one or two players, key players in the team. Because those people that have left were part of my first eleven as a coach. So you have to find a, a way to replace them. But I'm glad with the depth that we have in the in the, in the squad so far. I believe that uh, the places of Zwandi, uh, of, of, of Langa, Zwandi and Impiro, yeah, we, we have their replacement for for for. For these four, I think four games that we are we are, we are, we are about to play. I'm not saying that. They will be. They, they, they are like Langa, Ompiro, Zwandile. No, they are different players. We may not have the same Langa, but we we'll have a, a fighter that will be able to replace them. It's, it's, an, it's something that every team has been inconvenienced with the situation. But I mean, I mean, we need to be ready for this kind of situations whereby the league can decide that this might happen, that might happen. We are a team that we joined the league to compete. We didn't join there to, to mourn that or oh, the league. Why we, we why are we playing games in December? Where should we play the games? I mean, if you cannot play the game, where else? When else can you you want to play the games? And the way we started our league, we started in November, and we are like 20 teams in the league, and you can't expect to play four games in 2022. Then you expect to finish all the all the all all all, all your 35 games in 2023 that is impossible so now we're going to have those issues so i'm happy that the league took this it was a really a firm decision that most teams they didn't like it but that, that's leadership for you you need to make a decision stick to it whoever doesn't like it then move on with it and then coming to the actual game that we're playing this weekend we're playing against westview one of the new teams in the league yeah. um you've already mentioned that you don't know much about them we haven't seen them play we haven't uh, played against them. Mm. We did see last week that they played against the other new team in the league, Unisa yeah. FC, yeah, yeah. and they lost 6-0. Yeah. So chances are you're coming to face a wounded uh, West City, West View, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they'll probably be wanting to redeem themselves this weekend. The thing is, you know, we need to, I mean, I think I think I was talking to my one of my colleagues, one of my friends, uh, the, the, one of the coaches, was, I, when I put my status on WhatsApp, was telling me that, ah, tomorrow actually, I think it's 9-0 again. I was like, no, I think <laughs> the, the FIFA World Cup should at least should teach you a thing or two. That then you you cannot you cannot be so sure in, in football. You can't be so sure. I mean, let's look at look at Saudi Arabia. Look at your Iran. So many surprises in this World Cup. I was telling, I was even telling that don't be shocked when you see a final of Saudi Arabia and, and Iran in the final. <laughs> it's possible. You never know. Everyone think, oh, I know it's Argentina, Brazil. So to be honest with you. I cannot underestimate with Westview. I don't know them. I, I, I'm told they are young boys and all this and that. We cannot underestimate them. We have to fight for our points. And I can assure you tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to fight for our points. We cannot. We, we are not guaranteed that we're going to beat them nine. You know, it's not like we're going to just grab the ball and say, oh, that's a goal. We have to create moments where we can score those goals. 
So it's going to be a quite a, of a challenging game that you don't know anyone. But I'm sure them they are aware of what, what is Biazo. And looking at the log, they know that they are playing a good side. And you know yourself whenever you are playing an underdog team, there are always those challenges. So you never know. Last weekend, another shocker, Juventus and Okanto. When we beat Okanto 7 to build, ah, you guys, it's Okanto. But now they played Juventus, one of the best teams in the league. But it was a 2-2 two -two draw. So that, that only, that those moments you tell you that you are not guaranteed of your points. You have to fight for it. So tomorrow we are going to fight for it. If we win 7-0, if we win 1-0, if we win 2, whatever happens, eh, it's, all, it's all about fighting. We're not going to go there. I'm not going to go there and the coach and say, no, I'm going to feature my weakest squad or I'm going to put all the fringe players. No, no, I'm going to pick the base that I have on the day to make sure that we correct three points. Because this is the league is a marathon. So these moments where teams are not fit yet or they're not up to that level, yes, let's see, try it. We have been around. You know, we are Biazo. We are a good side in the, in, the, in, the, in the league. Right. Coach, thank you so much for your time and all the best this coming weekend. Oh, thank you. So last weekend, um, like the coach just mentioned, we, we did actually play against Kalanga, a team that we've played against quite a few times, especially during the preseason. And it turned out to be quite a very tight game, a very tough game. Um, uh, we all had high expectations in terms of the, in terms of the number of goals that were going to be scored by us, of course, um, in terms of the score line, but it turned out to be a very tough game. We literally took it by the scruff of the neck. Like we scored at the very dying minutes of the game. Uh, it was almost going for a throw, and the guys eventually turned it around, scored right at the dying stages of the game. Uh, look, at the end of the day, the main thing is to come out with the three points. That's what we are there for. We would like to take three points and still get a very beautiful goal difference because all these things count towards uh, when we get to the end of the league. But it did not turn out that way this past weekend. It had to be a tough one. It had to be one where we fight through. And you know, in, in the interview, the post-match interview, the captain actually did say as well that the, in the league to win you to win the league you you don't only need to play beautiful football but you need to win games and some games you win them in a very dirty and very untidy manner and others you win them playing well so i think this past weekend was one of those games where we had to play dirty we had to play the very scrappy type of game and we force and fight our way through ultimately that's what happened we did win um, one of the players that really stood out was the man of the match, Tapelo. He did a brilliant. He made some beautiful saves. His positioning was, it was fantastic. He was playing our sweeper keeper role, which is one of the things that actually the coach was frustrated about over the last past few games about the goalkeeping because you have good saves, good everything, but in terms of positioning, uh, when the team pushes up, the goalkeeper is not really part of the play. It's not really assisting it being like our last line of defense so i think tapelo did very well in that regard and hopefully the same kind of momentum can be carried forward into the the upcoming games looking forward again um, towards the end of the season we did indicate if you check our socials we did say that last weekend was the last game before we go into the the the, the break with the world cup having started uh, last sunday um, and we're only going to resume next year However, the, 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 the league has decided um, that in light of the number of teams, the number of games that need to be played, it is actually better that we continue playing up until the 10th of December. So we're going to have four more games. Westview is going to be our first game. We're going to have two games playing next weekend. And then there's going to be another one on the 10th of uh, December. Today I'm flying solo. Um, I'll give you my predictions. I think over the last few that we've done, none of them turns out quite the way. It's only Prince who, who seems to have the right, <laughs> the right type of predictions. So, look, I think we have been conceding goals, so I think we will probably concede one tomorrow against Westview. However, I want to believe that we will be able to score four goals. So, I think we're going to come out victorious, of course, with a 4-1 victory against Westview. Um, and hopefully that will push us to the top of the league. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's my expectation for tomorrow. And that is our Piazza weekend warm-up. Hope you will have a lovely weekend and I hope we will come out with all three points.